Good morning, ladies. Um, I just thought I would do a Sunday morning. Mm. Lazy Sunday mornings because I'm always in such a rush. And I feel recently I haven't had a tremendous amount of time with all of you because I've been kind of building my business and, and trying to juggle too many things. But um, Lila is home for the weekend and she's asleep, or she's sort of asleep, but she um, is just, you know, doing her stuff. So I just thought, I'm up early, my boyfriend's watching the Grand Prix, I'm twiddling my thumbs, I'm gonna do a little live. So I'm just gonna say good morning to everyone. Lindsay, good morning, Lorena. Lorena, good morning, uh, Janka, Mariam. And this morning, ladies, is about overnight miracles. And I wish there was such a thing as miracles in beauty, but it's things that I have used over 20 years that I feel have a, you know, when I, when I go to bed and I'm thinking, oh, I have an important thing tomorrow, or my skin is looking really blah, or I'm in a situation where I need extra hydration. These are the products I go to, and some are quite new and some are 20 years old. So I just thought I'd share them with you. I did try and share them with you in the back of a taxi once with Federica on the way somewhere, but I was in such a rush, I didn't give them their due. So I just took it down for any of those who you are watching now. Mm. And I thought it needs more attention. By the way, just so you know what I'm drinking, I went via a very nice new store, which has actually been there three years, but I just noticed it. And they have all these drinks. So this is, I've had a coffee. I've got a bit of banana bread and I had some chai something. So I'm trying to start well. Let's not even begin to go to how behind I am in trying to exercise. I haven't exercised really since I got back a week after the summer. So the whole of September is what I call a dry month in the worst possible way. Mm. Good morning, Valerie, Sandra, you see, I knew I'd get you Aussies and I'm very happy to see you Aussies. I was thinking to myself, because my brother now lives in Sydney, what time is it now? There and it's 10 hours ahead. So you're kind of, I was thinking you're seven in the evening. If you've got kids, they're probably screaming, you're trying to get them to bed. But I just thought it was quite a nice time for us to do it. So. Good morning from Talkie Devon. Yes. Oh, I know. Getting enough sleep at night is tricky. And I've been having a bit of difficulty with my sleep. I go to bed too late and I wake up too early. So what I'm doing, apart from the occasional sleeping pill, is I'm taking a lot of magnesium. And I'm at that stage in my life where magnesium is an incredibly good um, vitamin or mineral. Now you've got me. But um, my lady who looks after my hormones said to me, take it. So I take about four a night and it kind of relaxes you. It's very good if you have osteoporosis in your family. And um, so that's been helping a bit. Good morning, Claire. I know, me too. Uh, morning, Amanda. Morning, Louise. Still snoozing. Well, Louise, let me be gentle. So this is a nice morning, cosy, easy one. I could nearly... Amanda, I've gone... David Furnish, what are you doing up this early? Really? But David, this could be for you because I've got some great products. Okay, I'm going to start with Niod. And Niod is uh, uh, one of the companies of Desiem. Desiem is at Toronto, David listen well, that Toronto-based company, which has brought to the masses fantastic ingredients. And we love them because they brought us the ordinary and they brought us Hylamid and they brought us Niod. So Niod is the most... Um, the most uh, expensive as their, of their range. Good morning, Sian. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Kiara. Um, magnesium is genius. Amanda, it is genius. Fantastic, David. Ha -ha. So, it smells tricky. Actually, you know what I'm going to start with? This is the most important thing for me to start with because if I'm doing a nighttime treatment, I really need my skin to be incredibly clean. So if you're the kind of ladies who do a lazy cleansing, consider doing slightly stronger cleansing. But it's night. You could do a gold and advanced scrub, but I'm actually going to do a product. I was in Harvey Nichols yesterday trying out the new Fenty range. I'll tell you more about that. And I saw Omrit Sokova. I never know how to pronounce this wonderful um, Hungarian's name. But she has a scrub which comes out black. The smell is, I mean, most scrubs just smell. They stink. They're like, mm, I have to do it. This one smells so beautiful. It's sort of a mixture of rose geranium. I was always thinking what it was. It's, it's rose geranium. And I put that this on. So I'm going to put this on as my kind of prep for the products I'm going to use. Because there's no point 
using any of, any of the products I'm going to suggest unless you have an incredibly clean face. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning. And remember to scrub all the areas where you want these products to give extra attention. So for me, it's around my mouth area, which is my area that has the most sort of lines on it. And don't go too near your eyes. I am rough with my skin, we all know this, but um, you just wanna have the purest surface to let them penetrate. So I'm gonna take this off. I'd normally splash with this, but it's a bit sticky, so I'm actually gonna take it off with a flannel. I can't remember how much it is, I'm afraid. Um, but I bought it in Hobby Nichols. You can buy it in Space NK. It's a wonderful range. They also have a lovely serum. It's kind of started by a woman in Hungary and she has got the most unbelievable skin. And you look at her and you think, oh, I want every product because her skin's so good, but I think it's jeans. And she just happens, you know, she was a facialist. She brought out this range and every product works well from what nature intended. A little bit of chemical in there, but it's... Oh, now I feel awake. Okay, so you've got a clean skin and good morning, good morning, Sharon, good morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you on in a second, but let me do one product and then I'll look at questions. So let's start with Niod, okay? I need to actually just see what you're saying there, ladies. Good morning, Sharon, good morning, Maria. So Niod has Vulgare leaf extract in it and, and that is really the leaf of oregano the oregano that you might use in cooking, but it's a plant which is very good for sort of antibacterial. So if you've got a little bit of um, inflammation or let's say you have some spots or something, I kind of like voicemail mask, but I do also feel it takes away the dullness. It has a very strong smell, which is actually oregano and you really smell it and it's kind of glunky. I'm gonna put a bit of each of these on. So you put it on like that and don't leave it like that. Some of these masks you don't want to be doing when you're in bed with somebody else. So um, I think you have to be careful. But this one, you kind of rub in. I put way too much on. And there's no tingling. You're just feeling the oregano there. But I put a layer on like that. I put it all around my eye like that. And I do it when I might have a couple of spots when I'm feeling my skin looks dull and I wake up in the morning and I know I've had it on and I look in the mirror and there's a weird, because this is one for, you know, antibacterial, but I see a plumpness, the kind of plumpness I see with these moisturizing masks. So it's a, it's a clever mask. I can't stand the name. It's just so, when Harry met Sally, voicemail mask. So I feel that this was one of their first products when the internet was just getting trendy. I don't know how long this mask has been going, but I love it and I use it probably once a month. You all know how often I use a mask, but I believe strongly in masks, in every different type of mask. So that's that. For those of you who want to have something that's going to reduce inflammation and give you some moisture. Okay, next up, I'm gonna to go to Eborian. Now Eborian is a sort of hybrid French-Korean company, and they have a few products I love. They have their CCHD cream, which is that cream that um, you put on your skin instead of a foundation. I've used it quite a lot and it sort of change, it's changes the color of your skin, but there's only one shade. So it kind of, it's not good if you're very, very pale or above a caramel, but it's a great product. But they kind of take South Korean ingredients and they mix it with a Frenchiness. And this is exactly that. It is like a French woman's had a baby with a Korean man because it has good, Korean type skincare ingredients, which are not always, you know, Korean ingredients are not always a retinol heavy, but they're very nurturing and they have layers. You know, Asian beauty is about nine layers in a routine. For us Europeans, we look at it and we think, oh my God, when do they have time? But just look at their skin. Could be jeans again, but I think they take time. You know, if, if they saw me do these videos and going like this, they'll be like, oh! And they're just, you know, gentle, gentle. They're like China dolls, gentle. Anyway, you put it on, the smell is beautiful. Really kind of, this is where the Frenchman comes in because it's got that French cosmetic smell. Not the kind of Chanel cosmetic smell, which I find weirdly chemical, but it's that sort of old fashioned Guerlain French cosmetic smell. And it's got a nice texture. So when you put it in, you could have your husband or boyfriend next to you and it just blends in. It feels quite water-based. It doesn't feel oily, 
but there are prunes amygladus in it, which is a, prunes amygladus is actually an almond oil, so it's quite hydrating, but it also has stored in it a vitamin A. So you don't think of almond oil um, other than moisture, but it does have a good amount of vitamin A, and that will remove dead skin cells. So you put it on, it's hydrating, but it's, it's working on dull, tired skin. Now, lots of you are making comments, and no, they're not in my head. Let me just have a quick look here, and also prices-wise. So that's £36. Nyod is about £30. Hello, Alexandra, Kelly, Alice, good morning. Um, Vanessa, good morning. Michelle, good morning. Lena, good morning. I'm so happy so many are away. I love you. Oh, you're so alive. I thought you said you were alive, Trini, thinking I hadn't been on uh, much. Hello, Sha Shan Shaina. Ha nice to see your seven-year-old daughter. Hello. Um, products for the neck. Ah, oh, we're going to get on the next. I'm trying neck products out at the moment, and you can really tell because it's quite tricky. All right, next up. For those of you who like an oil, but you also want some retinoid product, um, retinol, retinol palmitate is a form of retinol. It's not that strong a form of retinol, but if you like an oil, Sarah Chapman has something called overnight facialist. I mean, incredibly good marketing terminology because we think, yes, I want that now, but it's quite oily. So if you don't like oil, don't go for it, but I'm just gonna show you the texture there. It's a glum glumpy oil, you know, it's not, it's a little bit runny, but not hugely runny, and it soaks in well, and it has vitamin C in it, and omega-3. The smell is slightly jasminey, sweet jasminey. She hasn't said that in her ingredient, but I can smell it in there, and when it goes on, it's very different if any of you have bought Vintner's Daughter, which is a real heavy, delicious oil, and this, I sort of think to myself, is it going in my skin? And I do massage it quite well at night when I put it in. If I'm using an oil at night, I will use my little dermal roller, my plastic one, just to um, kind of stimulate my skin. Don't forget, this is not pricking any holes in it. The oil will come off, but it's going on again as it works. It comes off on one bit and goes on on another. But I, whenever I do an oil, I do this. Um, you might have seen on Instagram yesterday, I did Sarah Chapman's with a bit of, I know I did, um, I did Vintner's Daughter with a bit of some facial massage techniques. So put that on, wake up the next morning, and I feel, how does my skin look compared to, I'm sorry, look at my flannel. There we are, it's getting a bit dirty. When I, when I put this one on, I put it on when I'm doing a retinol routine, but I feel I've done too much retinol, and I want a sort of softer one. So retinol palmitate is slightly different from retin-A or vitamin A. There's, there's ingredients in it. I feel it's, it's a softer form of retinol. So if you want to start retinol, you could start with a very low amount of the ordinary or something like this. Oh, but the smell is good. You can wear it with your partner. It's got good elements. Okay, now I'm going on to such an old fashioned friend of mine. Um, and it's something I used so many years ago. And I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm there, there we are, truly, hello. Hello everybody, good morning, good morning, Alexandra, Jacobo, Jacobo, hello. Midnight Recovery by Kiehl's. It's interesting, Midnight Recovery, and I think, do I have it here? I'm still occasionally trying it. There's something that I find tricky about Kiehl's, and mm, I don't know if it was really a disloyalty because I knew Kiehl's when it was a small store on 2nd or 3rd Avenue in New York, and they had coriander body lotion. It was the most exquisite smell. And then, I can't remember who bought it, Unilever or L'Oreal, but they, they, they dumped it, and it made me so disloyal to the brand because it was my favorite body lotion. I was like, I can't believe it. So Midnight Recovery, are oh, many people love, and it's a good price point. So I'd love feedback. Other ladies, if you're using it, and you are thinking it's fantastic, will you let everyone know? Because I'm very keen that you should all put the products you think you, that you're using that are great to help everyone else, because it's not just my opinion, I'm sort of starting the conversation. Good morning, Laura, Sarah, Maria, Alicia, Eliza, Angela, Amanda. The product you just used, now the product I just used, let me go very slowly, because I won't have anyone write this up until tomorrow, because I'm, so voicemail mask is my first one by Niod. Let's be really organized and put that out the window. Sarah Chapman, 
Overnight Facial. That's £46. I know it's back to front, but my phone is the wrong way around. Now, Gola. We think of Gola and we think of all the wonderful fragrances of Gola. And I loved Gola and I did wear many of their fragrances and I loved Vetiver. So I've always known them as a fragrance house. And many years ago, I worked for Cajon in Paris and, and I would go down the Champs Elysees and I'd go into the Gola store and I think, beautiful. And they have this range of skincare, which they've had for years. And they had this wonderful orchid cream, which I loved. And it was kind of very expensive, opulent, beautiful cosmetics. And you go inside duty free and you kind of look at them and they'd look wonderful. They were the first brand that I think looked wonderful as a skincare range coming from a cosmetic house, which originally came from, you know, years ago. It's one of the oldest cosmetic houses. So they had this product, which I used when I was a really, you know, having tremendous late nights in my 20s. And I would you know, no, I was going to have three hours sleep because I'd been out all night and I'd put this on and I'd slather it on and I'd wake up in the morning and I think, Jesus Christ, it was the first product that I thought, this is a miracle in a bottle. Maybe because I had no other expensive products and it was my one I bought at duty free. Anyway, here it is, Girl and Midnight Secret. And what's in it is hydronos, I can never pronounce it, Hydron hydronosotin. Um, basically, it's an ingredient that reduces redness. I think it's got a relationship with hydrocortisone. I'm not sure. It's got yeast extract, which you might think that's weird, but it's very good yeast extract for cellular oxygenation. Um, seaweed is going to take away inflammation. And I think for me, that's why I liked it, because I had a lot of inflammation then from lots of things. But you put it on, the smell has slightly changed from, from its original which kind of kills me. And it used to be 90 pounds in a beautiful glass um, bottle. And now it's like 19 pounds in this tiny thing. But I would also use it on a plane. There's another one I'm gonna show you on a plane for when you really have nobody who can see you. But this one I'd put on as a barrier and then I'll get off my nine hour plane ride and it would be good and my skin would still be okay. And the smell is beautiful. It's kind of that French nurturing. So if you like French nurturing and 19 quid, it, I think it still works. It's not, it's not identical as the product of my youth that I absolutely love, but it does still work. Um, what's the name of the product you just used? I've done that. I've got a blob cream on my hair. Oh, what the hell? Doesn't matter. Um, oh, daughter struggling with spots on the forehead. You know what? My daughter too. I just bought for her um, Mario Badescu's grapefruit um, wash. And then there's, a, oh, I bought another product which I brought with me. Oh, yes. And I'm gonna try it on my daughter's time. I'm so digressing, but I'm excited by this. Three Skin, which I'm trying their mask actually, but it's a three phase anti-blemish booster. I'm just gonna show you this, because I thought, how cool is that? And the, I mean, the guys really sold me in the store, but it kind of takes away the bacteria of spots and it stops them appearing and it helps with scars. Look, you just put it on like that. I'm trying to think what's in it. Oh, this has a really weird smell. Now I haven't tried it. I'm giving it to Lila to try, but he swore by it. This really nice man in, in Harvey Nichols. And you know, when you go in front of a counter and you think this guy knows his stuff compared to, they just read the crib sheet two hours ago. Um, so let me just see what's in it that I can tell you that's actually going to be working. Um, but it is done by this interesting dermatologist. All right. So aqua water, bitter, benzyl alcohol, collide, sulfur, sulfur is very good. Silicic acid is good, but it doesn't feel very strong silicic acid. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm gonna show it to you again for your daughter, darling, Sally. But, and I can't remember how much it is, but I'm gonna tell you now. Fuck me, it's 85 quid. I spent a lot of money yesterday. Depends how much you love your daughter. Otherwise, you know, I would say Rescue Mask from Evelon, because I think it's a really good product to put it on as a mask and to dab little bits on it. They also have Dynaspot Evlon with silicic acid in it, but it's very strong and you've got to be really careful. You're not drying out around the spot. Look at my post with uh, Caroline here because she's so good. We had a really good spot chat. Actually, that's the easiest thing to do, Sally. Um, what do I think of Aesop? Aesop, Aesop, how do I pronounce it? I love it. I'm trying it slowly and I want to try lots of their products. And I went in their store and I actually said to them, can I, could you send me some products? Cause I'd spent so much money that week and I thought I can't spend more. 
and they said they couldn't. So I've been slowly buying things and I've got their parsnip um, cream that I'm trying now and I love all of their, we have in the bathroom here, all of their like exfoliating hand lotion stuff, fantastic. But I'm slowly getting there and I'll tell you um, what I know. Okay, I'm gonna continue because I'm going on to and a fantastic product. Yes, I'll do a neck video. I'm definitely doing Origins Night Mask I haven't tried. Um, insomnia, Mary, poor you, um, Carol, poor you too. I, insomnia is such a bore, isn't it? Um, okay, let me just turn her. No, so I know, I, I just, um, why are my glasses dull? Is it the prescription? Probably because I'm, they're really dirty. Elizabeth, I do sometimes swear, I'm sorry. Um, okay, pink clay mask, view, the old skin. Now, I didn't know much about this man and I can't tell you so much about him, but he's a sort of celebrity stylist. Um, but he has a mask, which is fantastic. And it's weird because it's not a night mask, but I was thinking to myself, if I want something where I really need to massage my skin and have great hydration. So it has sienna seed in it, which is a sort of botanical hyaluronic acid. It's all organic, but you take it like this. I'm gonna show you, it's so weird. It smells, it smells very good. It smells like mixture between a floral bouquet and a herbal bouquet. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, it looks like that. So it looks like a scrub, can you see? And then you put it on like this. There we go, put it on. And it's gonna turn into an oil like that. Such an oil, I mean, a really fantastic oil to massage with. So if I had a bit of time at home and I wasn't going out, my overnight treatment, and this is one actually I wouldn't use the roller, because it's so thick, I'd use my fingers. And I've put this on, um, I've put it on overnight, but then my hair got a bit greasy and you had to really pull your hair back. And I put it on before I'm going out in the evening when I want to have just a plumped up skin and I need to massage my face and I want a good product to massage my face. But it's such a beautiful product and, and the texture of the oil is so thick um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else in it. Aloe vera, so healing. Um, I think it just gives great moisture. Um, and I would do my little lymphatic. So I'd do that under the chin. I'd do that by here. Do you remember with Victoria, that lovely woman from Brazil, we did this thing where we pulsed when we released our lymphatic here. But you can have a hypo, so you've got to be careful. And then just a bit of that. But beautiful, beautiful. It's a new discovery for me and I love it. Um, Sunday Riley, there's some products I really like. I find her Luna tricky um, because it's so blue and unlike the uh, Niod, which has this, by the way, the Copper Isolate from Niod, I am still loving. It's an incredible product and I feel it kind of, it's not that direct healer. It goes in and it, you know, takes over certain uh, ways that we heal ourselves and generate collagen, but I feel it's working. I really feel it's working. Um, all right, let me carry on, and then I'm going to do questions at the end. Ah, uh, this is one of my old favourites. I've had this product for 25 years. I've used this product. Let me clean my glasses. And it's Dr. Hauschka. And Dr. Hauschka is this wonderful organic German company. It's probably been going longer than any other organic company that we know. I'm going to really make that claim because since the early 60s when it was just more a medical company, a wonderful woman called Elizabeth joined Dr. Hauschka and she started making things. And I always say this about because I kind of love it if you're really spiritual. For many years, and I don't know if it's still the case, people couldn't pick the ingredients unless they were happy and in a good mood because they didn't want a bad energy to go into their flower and plant extracts. Mm. Mm. It's just a great story. Mm. But these ampules are for those of you who have rosacea, eczema, you've got a skin breakout, you're feeling that you've gone from summer to winter and you've got the central heating on and it's really drying out your skin. And this is kind of the ultimate, oh, what am I drinking? Oh, where's it gone? There. I am drinking the workout smoothie. <laughs> Instead of working out, I have the workout smoothie, that's me. Banana, hemp protein, coconut nectar, almond butter, in capital letters, I wonder because there's a lot of it, cinnamon and cacao, but it's, so, it's delicious. Mm. Mm. 
breakfast in a bottle. Hi, few. How do I pronounce that? Um, okay, so these ampules from Dr. Hauschka, you're getting yourself the point, have rose damascus in them, which is rose damascus oil is a wonderful nurturing oil and it has aloe babadensky or something it's called, um, but it has active ingredients. It feels like when it goes on you, twist it like that. And if I really have an outbreak or I've really got my skin has become very sensitive, I'll use two of these. So you put them like that. And it's like you think you're putting just water on your face. Um, but you feel a little bit more than water. And, and once you've got it on, you can feel the slight rose damask. Rose damask, damask, damask. But beautiful it's like very distilled water which has had some rose petals on it and I kind of feel immediately that sense of calming so you you if you really think your skin's having a tough time I'm not talking about post laser treatment I'm talking about nature's problem bringers eczema um, sura, um eczema rosacea acne a bit too but I think more for those dry sensitive skin issues and you'll put it on and I'd use it. It comes with probably a month's supply, but you could use it for two weeks and then your skin would just rebalance and then you can go back on. So let's say you've done also really strong retinol treatment. It's always very good that we, we really change our routine. And I kind of like to do two weeks of one thing and a week of something else and two weeks of one thing. That's my routine because my two weeks of one thing is generally quite strong ingredients when I'm testing out different retinols or salicylic acid, not salicylic acid, it depends if I've broken up, but I'm testing out strong ingredients or a strong vitamin C or my copper isolate, you know, and then my skin's like two weeks of intensity and it might suddenly go like here, I got quite red, I've been doing the retinol. So for the next week, I'm going to do the um, rhythmic night conditioner, which is not actually called, it used to be called that, so I call it that but it's Renewing Night Conditioner. I might not do a post on this, so read carefully. Um, for a week or two weeks, and then I'll go back to something. And I, I love that combination, so it works for me. Um, you're now using the Ordinary Retinol. 2% at night and can feel a difference, but I, if I use glycolic mask, my skin feels really sensitive. It would be, Sarah, because you're, you know, if you mix a glycolic with a retinol, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, I, exactly I do, but it will make your skin, you know, it's kind of fighting on every level and you're going in and you're trying to change the pattern of your skin and it's kind of fighting back, trying to heal itself. And so you'll have a reaction. If you can get through that reaction phase, that's great. But just maybe ease the pedal off one of those products. And I'm, let me just see which one you said, ease it off. I would, I would do the glycolic mask once a week and see how you go. But um, they're both acting in the same way of eating up your dead skin, but retinol is going further down and kind of creating new. Yeah. Uh, recommend pigmentation on your nose. Darling, I've done a pigmentation post on Trini London. Trini London, as a site, I have to let you know, is soon coming down because I'm putting up a holding page for Trini London. <laughs> um, so what I'd love you to do, ladies, is... Um, send us your email because on the 22nd October, we're launching. <laughs> so exciting. And I want so many of you to, I want you all to know the moment we launch, am I going to do a post? Please put it in your diaries now. I'm going to do a post at 6.45 on Monday, the 23rd of October, and all will be revealed. There'll be something in a magazine the day before. But anyway, please put it in your diary, wherever you live, because I so want you, and I was trying to find the best time to do this, um, to do this launch, because I was thinking this morning, maybe I should do it a Sunday morning, but then all the people who I'm inviting around England won't be able to come that early. I'm inviting the ladies who have modeled for me for the site. If any of you are watching, I'm so excited you've done it. Mm. Mm. Let me finish off. I got two more and then I'm gonna finish off. Good morning, Rosa. Good morning, Annalise. Um, Annalise, if you want to use a retinol product and you have sensitive skin, there are quite a few that have a little bit of retinol, like the ordinary, if you want to spend less money and start on a retinol, they have very, they have 1%, 2%, they have some, some which are with another ingredient to soften them. So they're actually really good on their site when you get through the very complicated pages. You'll find a page and it will say 
what should I begin with? And it would say if you have really sensitive skin, it would give you some options. And you could always take those options and then go buy a more expensive product too, but it gives you a sense of what percentages you should be starting with. And I, and I do think it's good um, at, to, to look at. Okay, now, Julia Hunter. You all know I love Julia Hunter. Julia Hunter is responsible for the fundamental change in my skin when I started two years ago because my skin was really slaggy. Is that a word? Slaggy. But what I do when I'm not testing out other products, so I do this routine probably for two, I probably do a week a month solidly of this routine. And I start with her peel. Here's her peel, Julia Hunter's peel. And I'm gonna tell you, this peel is a strong peel um, and it's got in it, it's called Maximal Strength Peel. It's got um, niacinamide and phytic acid. They're very strong antioxidants. It's chirally correct compound. So what it does is it really matches with your skin. Chirally correct is something you will hear more and more about, but some things just, you know, it's like buying a generic thing for all or buying something that kind of identifies you and matches to your skin. And that's what chiral is. Uh, you take it, I take, comes in a pipette, you pour it on. Um, it can sting a bit if you haven't used it before. But um, this is my routine. This is my really strict routine. And this will change your skin, but it's not cheap. I'll do that. I'll then take my Glow Pro or another one. I put Surgical Spirit on it. And I will do some needling. I could do my Swiss Clinic needle, which is very low, actually, 0 0.2. This is also 0 0.2. I have a 0 0.5. So I will break the very top layers of my dermis, having put the peel on. I'll do that for a few minutes. And then I will do a second layer of the peel and put that on. And when I do that second layer, I'll really feel it tingle because now I've created a whole, this is really doing what um, a therapist would do in a clinic and charge you a minimum of 150 quid. So even though that is really expensive, it's 200 something pounds, it will last you six months and you could do many of them and then you buy your roller. So it's your at home, full on facial. And then if my skin is really troubled and if I've got decongestion and if I've got some spots, blemishes, pores, rosacea, pigmentation, I will then put on top her exfoliating mask. And this exfoliating mask here, you can see, it's got something in it. I wish I could, there's something in it which I always forget. You put it on, but it's different acids. And when you put it on, you won't feel actually that it's stingy. But this combination of these three layers, and then on top of that, I will put her vitamin A. So that's a hugely aggressive routine. It's not for beginners. It's for real experts or people who feel their skin can do anything. And you'll see, you will, you will see a huge change in your skin texture. Um, all these other products will give you that too. There's one or two others I'm gonna mention, um, which I'm sort of, oh yes, hang on, I'm going to do this one. Um, SkinCeuticals have Reservatol, and this is a very good overnight retinol-based product, and it has 1% Reservatol on it, and it's got two other ingredients that are quite strong. It's good for um, lines. And um, I do believe in skin SkinCeuticals. I love their ranges. I think they're really strong. Um, and another one which is going to have a quick mention is Beauty Pie. I've used this three times, moisture infusion. Oh, no, I'm going to end with, sorry, sorry. I, I've got to go straight to this one. If you're on a plane and if you want something that will just not let in anything and you will leave that plane after 20 hours of flight, and you will have skin like a baby's bottom. That's the one reason you'd use this product. The other reason you'd use this product is if you've had laser treatment and you've come out of the clinic and you've got bloody red skin, you think, oh my God, then look no further than two products actually. So Cosmetics is a cosmeceutical range. It, well, it did change ownership and some of their ingredients aren't as good as I want them to be. But the Rescue Mask, has changed its name too. I'm gonna to tell you what's changed its name too, because this is an old one before they changed their packaging. 
and it's now called oh it's not here no i had it on my phone but it basically it will come in a tube it's in a silver tube but you'll see rescue balm and mask it's still called that now it's very thick look really thick and it's sticky all right so i get on a plane i spritz my face i take off any of the dirt from the airport usually i travel without any makeup on and then i put this on and you can see it's really very thick you kind of want your hair up if you're a girl on the plane all right and you put that on like that get on the plane go for 25 hours i apply i apply it a little bit more on a plane and then i arrive and i i have zero zero dryness that you would get on a plane it's it's fantastic it's my favorite thing and i decant it to a tiny little pot and it's just brilliant really really brilliant and i i have so many products in this bathroom you're all asking me you know what's in here and there's so much in here and i need i need a big clear out so it's sunday morning i'm going to do that clear out now i'm just going to see if there's any other questions hello from Abe and sarah have i heard of dr barbara from germany i haven't sarah has anyone else had please tell us um and um what what yay for launching thank you i know i'm so you know i'm so stressed by it what i realized as well is how this is a tiny thing, I don't know how many of you identify as, when I'm very, very stressed, I forget things more. And the last week I was really stressed and it made me forget things. And I'd be sitting at the office and there's like eight of us now and it's so busy in the office, it's quite difficult. There's so many of us, but I'm excited this team is growing. And I just realized over this weekend, I need to just feel less stressed because I'll remember more, I'll be able to do more, I'll be a much better boss. I won't be such a tough boss, which I've been last week. Um, anyway, I just need to own that today. Um, will we get some Australia? Maria, I speak every day about how we're going to deal with our Australians because I want you guys to have it. So we're thinking, because shipping, we already checked to Australia, is £28 or £25. Um, and so we're thinking, would we pay a percentage of it to get it to you. Because the thing I want more than me in the world is anyone who follows me here can get the product. Um, I was in a meeting the other day, I'm sharing with you everything. I was in a meeting the other day and um, somebody said, oh, you should be like glossier and, and um, you know, say it's not there yet and build up the anticipation and the excitement and then six months later it will come. And I thought, bollocks, I want you when I launch that a few days later, you've all got it. You're telling me what you think. I want that. And I want that for you. And I want that for me. So we will be sending everywhere in the world. Catman bloody do. We're just working out what percentage of the postage we'll pay for launch. After that, you're all going to have to pay for your own postage. But it's like we're going to work out. I mean, I'm saying this now. My, my CEO is probably going to say to me, Trini, what are you doing? But that's what I want. And that's what we'll do. Um... Good morning. Oh, Jess, it's in your diary. I'm so, where did I get my breakfast drink? From the Fulham Road. The company is called Sea Press. So good. Mm. Mm. Like, you know those drinks meant to do you good, but they taste like shit. It's really good. Um, uh, International, yes, I will, Maria, we will. Not which stock is in the US. You order it, Sarah. <laughs> um, and anyway, I think that's it. Where can I buy higher than 2% retinol from, Tina? Um... Uh, I mean, when you talk about what retinol does, if you really want strong, 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 go for Julie Hunter. It has retinol in it and other things, but I would do that. Because what you're wanting, saying you want 2% retinol, is you're saying you want something really, really transformative. And that's the most transformative um, um, product I have. Sophie, when you say cosmetics do a higher retinol, it depends what their retinol is sitting in and how they've, um, how, you know, they have a high retinol, but I think different companies present their retinol different ways. So, you know, you've got to, I, I will see, actually, I'm gonna come back to you on which product, apart from Julie Hunter, because I know it's very high, will have the highest retinol. Um, anyway, so uh, that's it. Good morning, David. Good morning, Simon. More Botox for that top lip reminds me of my fishing days. I know, you know what? <laughs> You'd love to say that. These are actually my lips. I do have retin, I do have Botox here. And I smoke and it's, my lips are a bit lined. So Simon, if you're saying my lips are lined, I know they are, but what the fuck they are. Um, thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Karen. And also, can we just say, I'm on a bloody iPhone and it's got a fish lens. So whenever you see things like that, you're seeing so distorted. But 
I just like to be here on my own and not have somebody else film me. Um, SPF before or after moisturizer. Last thing you put on your face, darling. Last thing. All right. Um, Dermal roller. So good girl, Bella. I'm really excited for you. I use, I don't use Declio. I hardly use Elemis, although they're marine collagen cream I'm trying at the moment. And Gatineau, oh, I've used years ago, but don't particularly. Um, so I know, you know, that's just, we've got funny people on. I don't care about those other people. If they want to make funny comments, let them make it. We need to be mean to people. Um, you want to start a retinol regime. You said earlier something about the ordinary. I say, go and have a look at the ordinary, darling, if you want to start that regime and they'll guide you, I hope. And if you feel you haven't got guidance, um, then, um, then come back and I'll try and help you. Um, you love iodine and vitamin D, Amanda. I only love oil for my body skin as cream does not appear to work so well. Can I tell you, there's a new product from The Ordinary, which is a retinol oil for the body I've been using. Um, I've mentioned this briefly. It's, the smell is disgusting, but it's, um, but it's quite a good product. And then I've been using Swiss Clinic, Amanda. They have a serum and they have a 0 0.5 needle. And I've been doing that for our knees that talk. Yes, really good. Ladies, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, um, I just think, I've got to go and see my daughter now. Yoga and meditation would be really good. Neck help. Okay, I'm very briefly telling you what I'm doing. I've been using, I'm starting, um, I did some quite strong retinol on it a couple of days ago. It went really quite red. And I've also starting Dr. Dennis Gross, which I bought in Harvey Nichols yesterday, his neck something product. And I'm going to see what that's like. And I'm doing it with, a, with my roller because I think that combination I wanted to penetrate more. So look at my neck now, which is, you know, I have a long neck. These, by the way, are some scars because I had a, um, a disc replaced, but my neck is in a bit of trouble and I've got a very long neck, look. Oh, oh. So um, I hope I'll be dealing with neck soon. Ladies, have a wonderful Sunday. It's been so fabulous chatting to you. I hope we'll get all the products up on the site tomorrow because the day after that, the site's coming down, trini.london. TriniLondon.com will be launching on the 22nd. Um, and in the meantime, please, I wanna ask you, I wanna really ask you something. So, for those of you still watching, can you go to Trini London on Instagram and like it? Because that's gonna be where that other life lives. And there's gonna be some rather exciting things happening there. So the first people who come on and like it, there's gonna be some interesting stuff when we launch, because we're making note. And then, um, do put your email in onto next week when we have the kind of holding site up because those also, those first emails we're going to do some fun things with. So um, I send you all big kisses. Have a beautiful day and um, we'll speak soon. Bye.